All right, so in addition to the program that you're going to code here in your brand new workspace, you're also going to need other files to help your system run. These are going to be IR files, user interfaces, and module files that you're going to need to add into your system to help control all of your third-party devices that you're wanting to add into your system. So how do you add those files? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. First, we need to have some files to add. So we're going to start with IR. We're going to say we're going to add an IR file. So how do you add an IR file? Well, first, you need to get it. The easiest way to get an IR file is to go to amx.com. At amx.com, you can go to the Text Center tab. If you scroll down a little bit, over here on the left side, it says Search Third-Party Devices. So if I click Search Third-Party Devices, that'll take me to this screen here, which will let me search and find my device. I'm going to search for a DVD player, specifically my Sony DVD player. I know that my control type is IR because I'm wanting to control my DVD player using IR. So I can press search. And so we get a list of all the different Sony DVD players that are controlled by IR. So let's say that this particular one over here is my DVD player. And so then I can just go to download over here on the left hand side. And if I click on this little floppy disk icon, it'll let me download my file. So how do we add that into our system? Well, go over here to the IR tab and right click. And see it says add existing IR file. So I can click on that and click that and do open. And then ask me if I want to enter properties about my file. I don't. I'm going to do OK. And there we go, we can see my Sony file right there in my IR tab. So, after you've imported your IR files, you can add your other files. And you do those basically the same way. If you wanted to add an Netlinks module, you can right click and add an existing module. You can also add a new module. This will basically let you create your own module file, so you don't have to use the module files that you download from amx.com if you want to create your own. But other than that, you can just right click and add existing module file, user interface files. You can just add existing user interface files the same way. You can also add other files, basically other files that you'd want in your system beyond those files that are part of the Netlink system. Basically what we're talking about here are if you had a system diagram that you want to include or instructions for your installer, a list of device numbers that you wanted to set to, port numbers you wanted to plug them into, basically any instructions that you want to include with your Netlinks workspace, then you can add those there and that'll link those in to Netlink Studio so that those will be wrapped up whenever you create an AXS file and they will be easily accessible from Netlink Studio, everything there together. So that's how you add files in Netlink Studio.